Should I just say, breaking news, Tembingos launch, an Orlando Pirate player has been sentenced to five years imprisonment, five years jail time. Wait a minute, let me give you a bit of a history here. Um, Tembingos launch was found guilty, right? I think it was around on the 6th of June, 2023. He was only sentenced today, the 21st of November. He was found guilty then. They've been postponing and postponement after postponement after postponement. And I, I couldn't help but I look, ask myself some uh, bit of questions to say, if it was just an ordinary person, will, look, will that happen? Or you know what I'm saying? Sometimes the way uh, things or, 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 look unfold, it kind of leaves a lot of questions. You know what I'm saying? I'm asking myself, if it was you and I, we are unknown people. You know what I'm saying? If it was you and I, uh, we are found guilty, would it be the similar situation or the same situation where um, you just found guilty look, almost, look, in the middle of the year and you are sentenced uh, at the year end? You know what I'm saying? But it's also not even about the, the fact that he is sentenced, but it's also what the magistrate says. And you're kind of like, this guy is not going to spend time in prison. So those questions, they make you ask yourself a question to say, hmm, if it wasn't Temikosi launch, will that thing happen or not? I, I, I don't know. I don't know, right? I would like us to talk about that to say, um, are we treated the same as celebrities, uh, the same as celebrities are treated when they are found guilty? Or not, you know what I'm saying? Because in the eyes of justice, we are equal, you know what I'm saying? We are equal. So I'm asking myself such questions to say, wait a minute, let me just put not do not disturb me here. Um, with that being said, yeah, guys, I'm about to take this journey and I will read everything that the, the, the judge said, provided that you are interested. Obviously, if you are interested, you need to stick around. As you stick around, there are just a few things that I'm requesting from you guys, and those things are. Number one, subscribe. Two, like the video. Three, comment in the comment section below. Four, you need to share this video. Five, you need to watch this video until the end. Six, you also need to watch the ads. That's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Guys, um, do join, become a member of this YouTube channel. Just next to the subscribe button, next to uh, subscribe, yes, there's a button called join. Just click the subscribe button, then look at the button called join. You will pay from as little as 20 rand a month. And also guys, if you are, um, if you can make use of the buttons there, there's a call button called thanks. You can click there, donate to uh, an, look, donate any amount of your choice to the YouTube to my YouTube channel. Speaking about that, the judge has handed over a judgment on this case. Um, Orlando Pirate because the launch has received a three-year prison sentence, which has has been suspended for five years after being found guilty of assaulting his former girlfriend. And because the launch 30 has been found guilty of an assault with intent to, co to, to cause grievous bodily harm and uh, was uh, expecting to learn his sentence in July already. However, the case was postponed multiple times after launch defense requested more time. On Tuesday morning, Lodge appeared in the Randberg Magistrate Court to finally hear the ruling and received a five-year suspended jail time, um, jail time sentence. While he was also ordered to pay hundred thousand to look to people opposing women abuse and gender-based violence group as you look. I, I, I'm, I'm against this. I'm against this, right? I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm against this. Um, people that tend to benefit from these things, or oh, you tend to hear that you must pay this much to this. For the why? Because you did not offend this organization. You offended this woman. You understand? So why the money must be given to a certain organization, not that woman? It, to me, it would have made much more sense if um, hearing this story would... You are, so you, are, you are asked to take, pay this amount of money to this specific individual, the one whom you are you have offended, right? It makes sense because maybe it just says you are compensating um, medical bills that occur during that. Then it makes sense. Hey, but yeah, that's how, that's what he, look, he, 
it is key times local road right they continue to say in addition he was also he, look, he was also declared unfit to possess a firearm under under firearm control act yo 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 you know we spoke about this act in the mayiwa case right to say um uh to remember to remember uzungu right Uzungu, look, you remember Uzungu what he did? He even had a firearm, but the way he handled the firearm. I say, when the registrar, which is a look, that person is assigned by the court to su supervise guns, when he declares you unfit, look, this guy would have been fired. But look at Temi Gosselon, he didn't even have a firearm, but he was declared unfit to possess a firearm. How much more Zungu, Zungu you know, to, to, to get what I'm trying to say, how much more Uzungu? Then in June, the National Prosecuting Authority of South Africa had released the following statement via NPA regional spokesperson, Gauteng Local Division PND, um, jo, um, jo on Launch's case, confirming he was found guilty of an assaulting a former girlfriend, Fundi Swa Nogu P. Uh, Nogu, Nogu Piwa Matitibela. The statement read, the soccer star Temikosi Launch has been found guilty of assault it will look with an intent to cause a local a Local to cause a grievous bodily harm by the Randberg Magistrate Court. The case relates to the complainant lay local complaint laid with the local Midran police station by his girlfriend in September 2020. That resulted in the arrest and the subsequently released on bail of 2000 Rand. Let Tamikosi launch was arrested on the 7th of September 2020 following the following an incident that happened in the look at his place of resident in Midrand on the 6th of September. September 2020. Fundi Swanok Piwa Matitibala said she was visiting lunch when she left her at her look at his home to go out with his friends. Matitibala saw that it was getting late and messaged him to return the car keys. On arrival, argument occurred and lunch became violent towards her and started to uh, strangle her, beat her whilst pulling her up and down. She look, she called for help and his friend came to her rescue. State prosecutor Miss Michelle Hunt argued that the uh, the medical within the medical evidence collaborated the evidence of the complainant. The assault, I mean the accused did not have any injury, which meant that he uh, look, he was uh, the aggressor. The accused and his witness did not create a good impression in court and appeared to be not credible witness. The case was postponed. Um, then it has been postponed to 28 July and then 2023 and then, uh, hey man, it was that back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until today where Temi launch was then subsequently sentenced. This is me now reading the latest on Temi launch. Having said all of these things here, guys, I'm interested to hear what you've got to say about everything that I've just said in this video. Um, do you Are you satisfied? Do you think that... Uh, if it was you and me, we would have been treated the same way. Uh, um, I mean, come on, Temi Gosselunch was found guilty. I think it was on 6th of June, June 2023. And he's sentenced today, the, the 21st of November, 2023. However, let's move right, right from that. Let's go to this one. Um, he was declared unfit to have a firearm, right? I did speak about this to say Uzungu, according to firearm laws, Uzungu, uh, look, Constable, Constable Zungu, yes, um, he took a firearm, gave it to somebody that he knows exactly that he does not have firearm, he does not have license to, to hold a firearm, right? Apart from that, Zungu himself also confirmed that he, look, he took a firearm and placed it in a place where there is no safety. That alone, it creates a bit of a problem to me to say, Zungu, how do you do such a thing when you are Zungu? You know what I'm saying? Zungu, the policeman. Zungu was found to be driving drunk, you know what I'm saying, from first orders to Tembisa. He confessed that. Mind you, he's driving a state car, having a state firearm. Um, all those things, the violations... Uh, they on 
uh, it might have led, if it was me, I would have been declared unfit to hold a firearm. But why that hasn't happened to people like Zungo? It's a question that I have. And I'm, I'm interested to hear an answer. Is he exempted to the compliance of the South African constitution? Who should comply? Is he allowed to get away with everything just because he's Zungu? He's got people that back him up. Look at what happened to Tabigo Seloj. He does, uh, let's, uh, I don't know, but let's say he does not have a firearm. He's declared unfit to hold a firearm, to have a firearm. That let's say, even if he does have a firearm, right? There's no evidence that he pointed out, um, he pointed the girlfriend with a firearm. So it means that the firearm was not used, even if he had the firearm. It was not used. But just because of his temper alone, the judge saw it fit that they need to declare him unfit to hold a firearm. Why has that not happened to people like Abu Constable Zulu who lied under oath and also incriminated himself? Why that has not yet happened to people like that? Now, I have a question to say. So does that mean that our laws have got eyes? They only see whom they want to see. They only see the people that are hated by the law because the law, um, ultimately the law has got eyes. You know what I'm saying? I have a problem with a lot of things that are happening. We are learning, uh, look, what, what, what is happening in the Meiwa case is completely different than what is happening at Ranpek Court where this guy is just told by the court that you are unfit to hold a firearm, right? Um, just because you were you 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 you, 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 you just because you you attacked your girlfriend with an intent with an intention of causing a bodily harm. Here we have Abu Zungu saying they saw mind you Zungu is a policeman by the way, but he saw Snako shooting another person. Is it Snako or Kwabini shooting Snako? Yes. He saw that happening. He, he look they were talking with U U Kwabini, Uguti U U look, why are you having a firearm? He even confirmed that the fire they, he was told that the firearm was thrown in the river. That's a criminal offense. You are a police you saw a criminal activity happening but you did not report that neither did you arrest these people you didn't two you are driving a state vehicle you are going there to consume alcohol nothing happened to him three you've got a state firearm you to fail to place it on a safety you give it number one number four it's a different offense number four you gave a, a state firearm to a person that is not qualified to handle firearm. Five, to place it in a place that is not certified safe to, to contain a firearm because guys, the law around the firearm says, if you have a firearm, it must be stored in a safety. I even said it, remember previously when I was talking about this, that he must be declared unfit to hold a firearm. I even said to you guys, a firearm, you cannot take a firearm you cannot use it. You cannot. You cannot go with a firearm into a part of people who are underage. It's a criminal offense. That alone, you cannot carry a firearm into that part. Uh, into a part of people who are very young. Um, but I'm just showing you. Then after that offense number f number five, he drove under the influence of alcohol from Gatlehom to Tembisa. Six, driving a state vehicle. Seven, with a firearm. You know, a state firearm. So um, I've calculated these offenses. Part of it, 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 it has got to do with firearm. So I'm just showing you that, on the other hand, Randberg Magistrate Court tells Ulonj, you are unfit to have a firearm. Oh, look, but here we've got a guy that violates the same laws. Um, it violates the South African Constitution and nothing happens to him. You know what will happen if you were to look, if you were to be charged by such laws, he will automatically got dismissed or get dismissed with look as a police because you can't be a police without a firearm. A police always have a firearm. Um, yeah, and not unless maybe they deploy him in either uh, certain offices where maybe the HR, you know what I'm saying, where they don't need a firearm. But other than that, you just by the firearm law alone, uh, you can't work in the South African police service without a firearm. You can't be a police arresting people without a firearm. You can see all of them have got a firearm. So um, I'm just saying what we are learning certain things in local Google cases. 
Temiko Siloch, where he got sentenced by the local Randbeck Magistrate Court, and then Ngapa, where I sing Abozungu. But please take note of this thing that I've just read to you. Uh, as this police continues to, to continue to testify, in uh, continue to testify here, ne? we let's follow them very carefully and let's follow them, guys. We're going to notice a lot of inconsistency within this police and everything that they are delivering to us but nevertheless yeah guys uh you and i we will meet in the next video but until that next video good people please take care